what's going on youtube welcome to my channel first and foremost let me introduce myself my name is sal uh welcome to my trucking vlogs and in this channel i will be talking a lot about truck driving mainly in intermodal since that's the kind of work that i'm doing right now i will also be uh doing videos about like diy type videos i do a lot of work on my own truck uh starting with maintenance and uh, the custom work that i've done to this truck let me show you guys the truck that i have it is a kenworth uh t600 year 2005 has a caterpillar engine c15 acer with uh 435 horsepower i drive a 13 13 speed manual transmission and yeah this is what brings home the bread Now this channel also is going to be about a uh, daily basis on this intermodal i am going to try to make videos every two days because i do have a spanish channel as well if you guys want to um subscribe to it and and follow as well um i do have a lot of content there but i just started doing this in english because there was a few people on the other channel that were asking me for uh english content and um, that's what i'm starting this page I will leave the other channel on the description if you want to go follow. Like I said, um, I'm also on social media on TikTok and Instagram as Trucking with Sal. You could always follow me there. If you have any questions, any comments, any concerns, anything, uh, I'm always there. I'm always in the comment section. Uh, so feel free. There is a lot of different things here in the intermodal. I will tell you this. Uh, I didn't start, I'm not going to start the video today with uh, craving the chassis because I already started working since a couple of days ago. So uh, a lot of the Mondays, it does consist of going and getting a chassis and uh, just the experience alone, craving the chassis. A lot of them are, are so old and, you know, you got to find the right one. You still got to do the pre-trip, make sure they're in good working condition because, man, there's a lot of them that are missing lights or flat tires you don't want to take that out on the road uh you'll get popped out real fast by dot but hopefully some of these videos uh that i start with you guys um you guys get to see the the freaking headaches i have to go through as well to uh to find a good chassis uh at the rail yards as well but anyway man thank you for following thank you for watching this video and uh let's continue containers that are in the way um, so that way you could give me the the correct container for myself and uh, he, has a, he doesn't have it yet he's moving it out there we'll see on the mirror he's moving some out of the way because mine was literally like the third row on the bottom so he has a couple of uh, containers to move couple sections there's a couple sections here in CSX there's a uh, the track side where the big cranes lift you off or lift you on as well. Those are the cranes I'm talking about. Big, big old cranes right next to each track. There's about, there's about five tracks in here. Starting with the first one, track one, right away, the second one, track two. Uh, there's a big space between them and three, four, five, and so on. 
Um, but right here where HP is usually uh, what other rail yards would call or consider the stack row. Um, pretty much just look at the number that the paperwork tells you. It gives you a ticket. Or if you do it on the on the app, there's an app as well to do it. To do all this, uh, all this manual input in the kiosk and uh, it lets you know what section to go and pick it up. Um, I'm on section 17 and that's so I had to go and look for the box. So I told the operator which one was, he's grabbing it. Hopefully we're next now. Uh, all I gotta do now is he's gonna have it lifted up in the air and I gotta reverse back and he'll finish putting that in my box. Let's go. I meant to say, I meant to say, hopefully we get lifted on next on my chassis, not my trailer, my chassis. That's what we do, that's what we have here is chassis. Well, we did get lifted on. I'm sure the next step we do here is uh, try to uh, lock it in place, secure it to the chassis. And there's four, four locks on each chassis that we have to lock. We grab our zip ties, we come back here. Push this lock back, that locks it in place. Don't pay no attention to my hissing there. But that's locked in place. You can see in here, it came right through. Let's walk to the back. Here's another one. Gotta push it. So just push this one in place. Walk to the front and uh, lock the last one in. Same as the other side. Watch the left one. Push it to the front. It's locked. Now it's time to put the zip ties. The zip ties is just for the lock, not to move. I'll show you right now. Like I said, it's just for it not to move. It's not gonna go back and forth. It's locked in place. And that's how we secure the container to the chassis. We put the zip ties so the locks don't move, because believe me, uh, there's a lot of chassis that are pretty old and the locks are pretty weak, that on any little bump, it starts moving around and it opens. You don't want that thing open and then you turn on, on any street down goes the box, right? We don't want that. Now that we did that, it's time to head out to show y'all how to do the, the outgate. It's pretty simple. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head, under my bed. Think you're something out of my nightmares. Sitting right there. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, then will you get Silhouettes of you are like a taunt Never really notice what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever want to give me wings You don't ever want to set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more, even when I've been screwed Dolls for the When we get to the kiosk QR code Scan it Pretty simple process uh, So the QR code already has all your info in it But yeah, do you say You don't want to change your mission no defense. It'll bring you out your your J1 when they call your your exit ticket. So, uh, you get your ticket. Thanks for run out of here and. Uh, you know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more even when I've been screwed Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through I got issues in my head I like you in my bed but you keep me on red Oh, everything is like a test I better not text or I'll come off desperate But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead Baby you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head Dead, will you regret everything that you did that you said? I don't think you understand what you 
to my yard where I parked the truck. This uh, this load is not until tomorrow. We don't deliver until tomorrow, so um, I'm gonna shut it down for the night. I'm gonna do my post trip right now and uh, make sure everything is okay. Just you always gotta do a little post trip, even though even if it's just like checking your tires, checking there's no leaks on on your engine, anything like that, and uh, make sure your lights work. I mean that's that's the most basic post trip you can do. Um, but a lot of times we do a post trip, you can find a lot of things wrong with your with your truck. So always always make a post trip, and most importantly your pre trip as well, because you never know what happens overnight. And of course, before I start doing my post trip, um, I like filling out my proof of deliveries just to be ready for tomorrow's delivery. So pretty simple. Got to put the address, the company that I'm delivering to, container number, chassis number, uh, name of company, DOT number, and my signature and just go deliver tomorrow give them this piece of paper so when they're done uh, offloading me uh, they sign it on my paperwork I give them a pink copy I stay with the rest and that's my proof of delivery now I have a tablet where I can send all my paperwork uh, that's where I get dispatched as well and then uh, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of stuff we do on the tablet, so it's very important for me to have this tablet here. And I have the information here on the tablet, so let me get started with the paperwork and I'll see you right now. Well, if you guys are liking this video, please smash that like button so we can start growing this channel a lot more. I do have a GoPro. Uh, I do have to need, I need to just go and, and uh, pick up another memory for it because I lost mine. But I do have a GoPro. It's going to be a nice, good couple angles on this channel. So please, like I said, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more content. That way, it encourages me more to make a lot of better content. And if you, like I said, if you guys have any suggestions, any comments, feel free to leave it in the comment section. But follow me on the next video. That way you guys can see the delivery and the other yards that i go to as well to go and pick up other other chassis other other containers for the next deliveries and like i said on my spanish channel let's keep moving forward make god bless you all and uh, peace out